on tap, creme brulee imperial milk stout. Hi, I'm James Knott and today we're talking about creme brulee imperial milk stout from Southern Tier Brewing Company in Lakewood, New York. Creme brulee comes in 22 ounce bottles and is 10% ABV. Serve it in a snifter at 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Vanilla beans and lactose sugar add to the rich flavor of this brew. Nathan from Southern Tier calls it a dessert beer and recommends enjoying it with chocolate or vanilla ice cream. For those who don't know, creme brulee is a dessert with a custard base, usually vanilla flavored, topped with a layer of hard caramel that is usually formed by torching sugar on top. Adam, when you taste this beer, do you taste creme brulee? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it, it is a spitting image of creme brulee. You get the vanilla, you get the sweetness, uh, you get a, 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 a little bit of the alcohol flavor to it, but uh, other than that, I mean, it's, re it's really smooth. It tastes just like creme brulee. Joby, what were your first impressions of this beer? The smell was like I was smelling candy or, or something. I just opened up a, a box of candy because it didn't smell like a beer at all. You know, I was interest, interested to taste it because I couldn't imagine how that smell would, you know, transfer to a beer taste at all. And I don't, I don't think this tastes much like a beer. It does got the vanilla beans in it, so it is a sweet, candy-tasting dessert beer. Um, so I kind of think it's kind of a novelty beer, um, but a novelty beer in a good way because it tastes really good. Mark, how, how would you describe this beer? Uh, awesome. I think would be the best way for me to describe this beer. Uh, it really pulls you in. It almost kind of rouses your curiosity because you're thinking, why would a beer smell as good as this? And you try it, and the flavor doesn't necessarily back up the aroma as well, but it still tastes real smooth, uh, real creamy. It goes down easy. Uh, the alcohol content in it, it may be 10% ABV, but it's still getting masked pretty well, you know, underneath the, the vanilla bean in there, the you know, fermented sugar in there, hides the alcohol pretty well, so. Okay, so what is your big picture on this beer, Adam? You know, I, I, I like the flavor. I think it's a, it's a very inter interesting flavor of the beer, but at the same time, they're adding the flavor to it. They add the vanilla bean to it, they add the sugar to it, that we're, and because of that, we get the sweetness and we get the vanilla sm smell to it. Uh, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. But what's wrong with that if you end up with a good end product? It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's a, it, I think it's a great tasting beer, but at the same time, I, I'm not going to le lean towards anything that's going to have the artificial flavors or, or added flavors into it. Okay, Joby, where are you at on this beer? James, I'm going with a solid eight on this beer. Um, if for for some reason I was going to maybe a housewarming party and I knew the guy was a beer drinker instead of a wine drinker. I'd pick up a bottle of this and be like, hey, look, this is a great beer. You know, you only need one bottle. Uh, welcome to the home. So I go with a solid eight, James. Okay, so you don't see yourself taking this to a tailgate? Uh, absolutely not. You show up at a tailgate, I mean, <laughs> you get, should get you're going to get laughed at. You're going to get laughed at. And <laughs> I mean, this is really, this is something that, that you know, it should be on a, a re menus on, at restaurants, at fine dining restaurants. In addition to their dessert selections, you have this beer along with their aged brandies and stuff like that. I think this is a great flavor for beer for, for, that, for that specific purpose. So, Mark, where are you at on this? Uh, I'm, an overall rating for me on this beer, uh, I would definitely have to go with an eight. Before the taping, you mentioned at first maybe nine or 10. What made you like ease back on your rating? Uh, just to kind of back up what you know Adam was saying, the, the fact that a lot of the, the flavor isn't necessarily authentic. Well, to me, the beer is great. I mean, but they're real vanilla beans. What's but not if authentic you're talking about, about the flavor of a beer, then we're talking about beer, and then we're talking about adding vanilla to it. I can add vanilla, and I can add sugar to any other stout, and I'm going to get a similar flavor characteristic. Yeah, but what are you only drinking according to German purity laws? No, I'm not if drinking. If we're gonna fall Ryan Heights bot, then this beer definitely <laughs> I mean, doesn't fall if you're, into the if category. If you're looking to drink beer, yeah. then this is not what you're gonna do. You're not gonna drink a whole bunch of these. If you're looking to drink beer and looking to drink a good flavorful beer, I don't think this ranks on, on my scale of beer 
because of the added flavors. I mean, my scale of beer is the four ingredients. You got barley, uh, uh, barley, hops, some yeast, and some water. That's to, beer. To jump in here for a second, I don't think that when they made this beer, they made it to be a session beer. You know, they're not making this to to be, you know, drink seven or eight. Or I'm they not they it's, say it's a it's a, a it, dessert beer, and I think it comes out exactly what they but say. But this it isn't is. even. I mean, this isn't even. I, I'm not saying it's a session beer. I'm just saying it's not even a, a a full beer drinker's beer. If you're looking to drink beer, this is not what you're gonna drink. But if you're looking to have a dessert flavored beer beverage. Perfect. Right. I think you'd be very surprised if you ever walked into, you know, your buddy's house, opened up his fridge, and he had like a 24-pack of, of these 22 <laughs> bombers. You know, it's just not going to happen. You're going to have one bottle or maybe two right. to have on a special occasion. Jesus, don't look at my fridge, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Creme Brulee Imperial Milk Stout scores a 7.7 .7 on the BBA scale. Thanks for watching. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better beer with Thumbernet, better beer with Thumbernet.